In this video, I'm talking about North America OSB and plywood oriented strand board and plywood prices at the very beginning of March 2023. Hello again, everyone. Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, and I'm talking today about panel. I had some few people asking what's happening with plywood and OSB, and that's a really good question, so I'm going to give you an update right now. So Madison's Lumber Reporter has been publishing every week since 1952. I'm the third owner. We do uh, North America FOB sawmill mill gate prices every Friday. I have an analyst who tracks the market by calling around to the mills, uh, the different producers, asking what the selling price uh, on, the on the producer level is, and talking to the wholesalers asking what is their buying price. So these are large volume, you know, manufacturing and reselling price points. This is not retail, okay? And as an explanation for people who ask, you know, they say uh, where I am or I just went to the store and the price is this, but you're saying, you know, this other thing. Uh, the prices that I'm quoting is not retail price. And the retailers actually do not set the price. They're a little bit last in the... Um, customer uh, in terms of the volume of sales, okay? And so the large U.S. home builders really are the volume buyers that uh, have a seasonality to their purchases, and that that is what actually sets the price. And then along come the retailers and um, the smaller, like the reloads, and that, and they negotiate, but are sort of at the mercy of whatever the price levels that have been set. And so plywood and OSB prices are reliant on what's going on with U.S. housing in the same regard that dimension lumber prices are. If you looked at the video that I just posted about the dimension lumber market in uh, the very beginning of March, uh, but plywood especially is used for other reasons. Uh, concrete forming, other kinds of construction where the plywood is uh, temporarily put up and then uh, knocked out uh, as the uh, you know, the construction continues, um, and other purposes altogether, for example, boarding up windows in advance of a storm or re-roofing after a storm, or like we saw um, quite a bit during the early parts of 2020, boarding up windows um, in advance of social unrest. So, and the other thing about the panel market is that there are fewer producers in terms of facilities, fewer companies altogether making plywood and OSB as opposed to dimension lumber, and quite a few of those are not publicly traded. Quite a few of the um, OSB and plywood manufacturers are sort of, you know, pl privately held companies, right? So the dynamic is, is quite different. And if you watched my last video and I was talking about curtailments, where it's very expensive to curtail a sawmill and in the past was something that really was not taken lightly and didn't happen particularly often. The plywood and OSB producers, they will what's known as go off the market. So if the demand for their material is so low that they would have to be dropping the price, they just won't sell. They'll just wait until demand improves and they can at least keep the price stable, if not um, actually raise it, okay? Because like I said, it's not always U.S. housing starts that impact the plywood and OSB market. So I'm going to show you some graphs right now and explain visually what I'm talking about. And so starting off with plywood, uh, what we have here is Canadian softwood plywood coming out of Toronto, 9.5 millimeters or 3 eighths inch. Prices showing you from uh, the early days of 2021 to current. And real quick, what those prices actually are is uh, this week flat at Canadian $678 per thousand square feet compared to one month ago, that is down $65 or 9% when it was $743. And for the same week last year, this price is down $722 
or 52% when it was $1,400 Canadian per thousand square feet. And two years ago, this same week, this price is down $322 or 32% when it was $1,000. So now, looking at this same data stretched across over from the uh, March of 2021 to present, you can see how that line has been flattening out since about July or August providing a really good indication that maybe the market is um, coming to an equilibrium with the supply and demand balance. And where is this new price level expectation going to be going forward? What we had happening in the market in the last few weeks, uh, especially right now at the beginning of March 2023, is that the bulk of trading took place well below market levels just to make sales, even if those were at low volumes um, and undesirable sales prices. Okay, and so this means that the seller is more motivated right now than the buyer to get some uh, sales booked and get some product moving while this harsh winter continues before the spring building season begins. Okay, so like if you look at that trend, you can see that there's a flattening out, right? Flattening out now at those levels that we have on the plywood and OSB, you know, the 400 or the 600 and something to demonstrate that we seem to be coming to an equilibrium, which is really good for the season that we're in, right? As I'm explaining how in the winter, uh, bad weather, there's not as much construction activity going on and therefore not as much uh, demand for wood. And so the hopefulness would be that we found where is the new bottom. And if we're seeing what is the bottom now for plywood and OSB prices as opposed to where it had been, let's say, five years ago, potentially coming up in the next few months, we'll see what is the bottom for Dimension Lumber and then we'll be able to gauge what is the new normal, as everybody keeps asking, right? Um, so let's look at some more graphs and have a little bit of a better idea where we are right now compared to the past so that we can see potentially what we're going to be um, having coming up over the course of the rest of this year. Great. And so then looking at oriented strand board coming out of Ontario 7 16th inch, uh, you see that the pink line 2021 did flatten out in the latter half of the year. Then last year, 2022, went to, into some volatility again before it flattened out and looks approximately around the same, that blue line for this year, 2023. So that price currently is Canadian $340 per thousand square feet, which is down $10 or 3% from one week ago at the end of February when it was $350. Compared to one month ago, it's down $5 or 1% when it was $345. And for the same week uh, one year ago, that price is down $1,235 or 78% when the price was Canadian $1,575 per thousand square feet. And two years ago at the beginning of March, this price is now down $935 or 73% when it was $1,275. So again, looking at the uh, same graph with the line stretching across from March of 2021 to present, similar to the plywood flattening out really nicely there, hoping that Dimension Lumber prices follow this similar trend coming up over the next few months. And what we had in OSB uh, in the past few weeks, sort of into February and beginning of March, is that order files were barely two weeks. Uh, they were longer in the West, but that's really only due to transportation delays rather than production uh, volume being booked going forward. Otherwise, the prices of both plywood and OSB have been flat for the past few months, suggesting the market is finding a balance. And these might be the new price levels to look for going forward, expecting, of course, in the spring there to be an increase as construction activity really gets going for the rest of this year. Okay, great. 
And so I hope that really explained well what uh, people ha were wanting to know. We are in the very early days of this year, 2023, and still quite deep in winter um, in terms of, uh, you know, lumber manufacturing, timber harvest and construction activity. So lots of updates will be coming um, through the course of this year. And so if you like what you see here in this video, click like so that it can be recommended to other viewers and click subscribe here on YouTube so that you will be notified uh, when I make another update. If you are interested in further details uh, to see the full list of the 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices that we track and to see what the prices are that week, go on my website, madisonsreport.com. The link is here in the caption and go to the subscribe at the top menu and scroll to the bottom and fill out a form to see a sample. And we will send you the full list of the dimension lumber and panel prices that we track and what is the price for that week. And we will send you the commentary explaining what happened with the price and why it's changing to give a good overview of the market. And if that is helpful for you, actually subscribe to my dashboard so you will get a login to see the prices as they are updated every week overnight on Thursday, so Friday mornings, you can log in and see what is the new data update for that week.